What's up, guys? It's Mega Dan Twenty Nine, and you're watching another great video from Linda, aka the Gamer Girl. Hello, everybody. Linda, aka the Gamer Girl, here, and I'm gonna give you a review today of my Hyperkin Three in One. Tell you my opinions on everything. The only thing I cannot give you an opinion on is the hue cards because I do not have any hue cards at the present moment. So time of this review, I'm only going to be reviewing the master slot and the game gears. And not only with this review will I be using the Hyperkin 3-in-1 for the Retron 5, I also used it for the Retro Trio. I tried out all my games that I have. I currently have about maybe seven to eight Master System games, and a ton of Game Gear games. So we're going to start off with the system that it is meant to be with. That is the Retron 5. Hyperkin 3-in-1 is a tedious, tedious update. If you are going to update the system for this, make sure you follow it to the T. If you mess up at any point, you will mess up the system and how to have to restart it. It happened and I thought I was doing it right and I completely botched that and I had to do it over again. Now for the system, Master System works fine. No problems, every game that I got worked okay. For the Game Gear system, it was a crapshoot. i say about half or less than half of my games registered all the way through. So it was the ones that did register, about maybe 10% of them stretched out the image so i will say if you're getting it for the game gear slot don't because most of the games that i played don't really work but i am happy that at least they work for the master system colors are a little off on all the games i'm not gonna lie most of the games that i played you could see the color difference was way way off and i don't know why that was it just seemed to happen but for the games that i could play i did enjoy myself and had tons of fun with it. Now with the Retro Trio. The Retro Trio is a lot easier to use because all you need to do is just literally slide it into the Genesis slot and it starts working instantly. There is no updates, no firmware, no nothing. It just automatically registers anytime you put this in with a game. Whether it reads it or not, it's going to just automatically kick it on. So you don't have to worry about that. That's an easier part about that. And with the Retro Trio, I noticed that it played more Game Gear games than the Retron 5, and it played all my Master System games with no problem whatsoever. So, I will say though, you cannot pause with the Master System on the Retro Trio. So if you're playing a game, you literally have to play the game and you cannot stop it at any point. Now, I will say the colors are way off on the Retro Trio as far as Sometimes I was getting a little bit of a headache. The only game that was perfect and fine was Rampage. Rampage, I had no issues with the colors or anything like that. And also the same thing happened with a lot of the Game Gear games. I would play and it would, this stretch out screen would happen also and the colors were way off also. I don't know if it was because the slot is dirty or what, but I had issues with every game. The only game, there was one game out of all of them, Samurai Showdown looked somewhat decent, like actually looked like the original game. Now as far as lag on both systems, I had more lag on the Retron 5, and I don't know why. It was meant for that system, but it was more noticeable on the Retron 5 when I played any games that I was playing. Retro Trio, the lag was less. Now as far as price point, I recommend that you can find it as cheap as possible because with so many games that it cannot play, I would not pay full price. I would go with a, a third party and make sure that you get as cheap as you possibly can. Now, as far as my personal opinion, would I recommend you buy this? I say yes because of the simple fact that there are so many Master System games you can play on this, and there is so many Game Gear games you can play on this. I have not tried out the whole library, so the one thing is if you can deal with the stretched out screen and you can deal with the bad combinations of colors for some of the games, you're okay. Okay guys, so that was my short sweet review of Hyperkin 3-in-1. I hope it gives you some insight to what this little device offers you. 
keep on gaming everybody and if you're new i hope you subscribe have a great day